please excuse the squeaky floors. The soles of my shoes are rubber and it looks like the floor was freshly cleaned. <laughs> Today I get to show you around a brand new house and lot in Don Antonio Royal, Quezon City. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Presello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another Presello open house tour. So as you can see, the facade is gorgeous. And then let's go through the main entrance for the pedestrian. Of course, you have your main gate for the cars, but we are going to go through this one so you can see what it's like to enter your home. <laughs> so you have here a few steps, well not a few, um, a set of stairs that leads up to your main entryway. And what a main entrance it is. Just look at this massive door. You also have here a digital lock. And, wow, this door has some heft to it. And it's all nice and clean. So this paves the way for your living spaces. You have here your very spacious living area with a built-in entertainment setup over here. So presumably this is where you would put your TV, your, your AV, gadgets, etc., and your books. And then open space planning you have here your dining area, and then your kitchen. So you have here lots and lots of counter space, right? And don't you love how clean this looks? You've got wood, you've got black, you've got, um, this, this is quartz. I believe this one in the middle is, it is. <laughs> and then the one, the black ones are granite. Wow, it's just so clean. Comment down below if this is the kind of thing you like and again of course if you or anyone you know is in the market for a house like this please share this video to them okay so you've got storage here storage in the middle you also have spaces underneath here so you can store some stools and this could double as your breakfast nook then you have your range over there with a built-in stovetop and then over here if you can see i think josh can focus in on this it's a very interesting sink so it has this really rough texture. It's not, it's almost like stone. And I think this is one of the more unique sinks that I have seen so far. I mean, it's not the only one that's like this, of course, it's not that unique, but it is that little thing that makes this house feel a little bit more special. Okay, so from the kitchen slash dining area, you have access to your dirty kitchen. So you have your more counter space. Again, this one is granite. You've got your range, your cooktop, another sink, stainless sink. And then from here, you have access to your staff quarters. Ang ganda ng staff quarters, actually. So it's spacious, it's really bright. You've got this really big window with a nice view of your neighborhood. So thankfully, the lot right behind this one is empty. I'm not quite sure if they're gonna keep it empty for a long time. It seems that way for sure. And if that is the case, then wow, this just has a lot of light coming in. And then of course you have an ensuite suite and bath for your staff quarters. Going back out into the hall. <clears throat> and you can see your main staircase. Now before we go up, I wanna show or direct you to this area. So you have two doors over here. And this one leads to your toilet and bath. Kala niya powder room, no? Kala ko rin na powder room, eh. <laughs> but this is bedroom number one. Actually, this is more of a den, but it could be a bedroom. 
So you can turn it into whatever it is you want. It also has an included air conditioning unit. If I'm not mistaken, all of the air conditioning units for this particular pro uh, property is included. All right, so you've got this really nice room, right? And then you have this really big window that overlooks the facade of your house. So this is the only reason why I would say you could turn it into a den or an office. Because yeah, you could make it into a bedroom, but then it's a little less private than the other rooms. Just a little less. Okay. And then if you'll notice, the main staircase doesn't just lead up, it also leads down. So that's where we're gonna go first. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe because we see you watching our videos, but not all of you are subscribed yet. Alam ko tinamaan kayo. Let's head down. So at this point, I think I should let you know that you have about 530 square meters of floor area and then 345 square meters of lot area. That is a lot of space. Okay, so this is technically your ground floor, but then it's a semi half floor down, so it's a bit of a basement. So it's basement, ground floor, it's up to you. All right, so upon reaching this landing, you'll notice that you have a door that leads out to your garage, and then one to your pool. But before that, you have an area here. So this is more for storage, obviously. You could decide to put up a door here or just leave it open. But you have all of this space. Now, for a scale, I'm just gonna try to go down here. This meron pa dito, like. It's in. See what I mean? You have a lot of space. <laughs> okay. All right. So from here, dito muna. I know you got a sneak peek of the pool, but let me show you the carport. So out here, you can fit four cars comfortably. So obviously, you have your gate. You have here your driver's quarters. Needless to say, the other staff quarters or the female staff quarters is more siya because you have more access to sunlight. Whereas this one is more of artificial light. But it does not lack an ensuite toilet and bath. And then back up. <laughs> And then back out. Now, I cannot show you the inside of the room because I think from there you can already see that there are a lot of construction materials and personal items. But inside this room is uh, your, are your breakers, rather. So all your breaker panels are inside and you can also double it as a storage room or tool shed even. And then what I like about this carport is, yes, it's closed. I mean, your carts won't get rained on, but it's still very open. So you have access to all of this side garden. <laughs> and it curves out all the way to the back. Now here's another thing. So you have this space, right? It's clearly perfect for laundry. But you know what I like about it even more? The fact that the actual laundry area is covered. How nice! So you can store your, uh, your washer and dryer over here. You have the provisions and everything. And then you have your sink. Sobrang ganda. So that means you can have your appliances here without having it rained on, and that is perfect. Pinagisipan siya. So from your laundry area, you have access to your swimming pool. So it is a really nice lap pool. It's so, so clean. I love how the edges have been, you know, designed with little details. So you have these pebbles, you have the rough stone tiles. Hindi siya nakakatakot. There are certain pools that make you feel like, yeah, it's nice, but then baka dumulas ka. This one, hindi. It's very, the edges are well defined and I like that. Comment down below if you also like that. <laughs> or if you just like pools in general. And of course, since you have a pool, you have access to a really nice shower, toilet and shower. Or toilet and bath. <laughs> And then over here, you have your uh, water pumps, if I'm not mistaken, and maintenance for the pool. And then this slot, this one leads out into your garage or your carport. So it just makes the air breeze through each area of your ground floor slash basement. Okay, and then back here on the side, you have access to your uh, main entrance. If you can see, so I'm just gonna Skim right through it real quick. 
and we are back out to the entrance that we came in. But of course, we're not gonna go through all that. I just wanted to show you the really nice gardening or landscaping on the side of the house. So let's go back in. So that covers this floor. Let's go up, let's go back up. Okay, real quick before we finally head up to the second floor, I just wanna show you where the living room leads to because I don't think I showed you earlier. It leads to this really big and spacious balcony. So again, your view is of the empty lot in the back, which I really don't think they're gonna use at all for you know aesthetics. <laughs> so that's really nice. So you've got this open air and you can just open your sliding doors and kasama na screen You have screens here, right? So you can just close this up to make sure no insects fly in since this is just the semi second floor ish ground floor ish alanganin kasi 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 siya it's a mezzanine type right so comment down below if you're aware but as far as i know uh, flies can fly up to the second floor of your house so any floor higher you don't really need screens because they can't fly that high up based from experience it seems to be true but you know again comment down below if you know better <laughs> so yeah this is a really nice balcony you can have a setup here for indoor and outdoor seating. Okay, finally, I can show you the more private areas. <laughs> By the way, speaking of all of these floors, which I seem to get confused about, I noticed that some of you commented that I was mistaken for saying that the ground floor is the, uh, the, the ground floor is the ground floor because some of them consider it as the second floor, etc. So it may varying differences depending on what country you're from. So here in the Philippines, it's common for the first floor and the ground floor to be the same thing, unlike in other countries where the first floor is the floor higher than the ground floor. So here in our context, in the Priscilla context, the ground floor and the first floor is the same thing. And then the next floor is the second floor, just so you know. <laughs> okay, so upon reaching your second floor landing, <laughs> You have here this open space. You can see the high ceiling from your main entrance. And then you have these doors lined up in the hallway. So behind door number one is technically bedroom number one. So you have all of this space. Now, technically this bedroom is above the den that I showed you earlier. So the main difference being and why I would say that this is officially bedroom number one is because A, you have your built-in closets and B, it has an ensuite, toilet and bath. Unlike the den, right? Because the den came with a separate toilet and bath and that one was more for the visitors. So like, that's why I said it was more of an office. Okay, right next to bedroom number one, we have a storage closet. How deep is this? Okay, so just for reference, it's this big. <laughs> And right next to it, bedroom number two. So again, all of the space, you've got big windows. Suppose you could put your bed over here or over there in the corner. And again, your air conditioning units are included. Then you have your massive built-in uh, wardrobe. By the way, I wanna point this out. So a lot of wardrobes that are built in here in the Philippines, usually their wardrobes end at about 2.1 meters, more or less, or sometimes even 2.5. But this one, sinagad niya sa ceiling, all the way up to the ceiling, which I really appreciate because then you don't have to clean anything on top. You know what I mean? When dust bunnies gather at the areas where you can't reach. So this one eliminates that problem. Okay. And then of course you have your ensuite, toilet and bath. Please excuse the squeaky floors. The soles of my shoes are rubber and it looks like the floor was freshly cleaned. <laughs> so it squeaks a little bit. And then here in the corner we have bedroom number three. Wow, this is a really big window. I like this one. But yeah, again, same space. You've got your wardrobe and then your ensuite, toilet and bath. And finally, your master bedroom. 
Your master bedroom is also a corner bedroom. You've got lots of windows, lots of light. You have this interesting ceiling, so ideally you'd want to put your bed over here. You also have a bigger air conditioning unit because you do have a bigger room. And of course, you have a bigger walk-in closet and toilet and bath, ensuite toilet and bath. So you have all of the storage with again a mixture of blacks and woods. And then your his and hers sinks, your enclosed shower, and your water closet. Isn't this a beaut? It's the kind of bathroom that's easy to maintain but looks so good. Keeping it simple and keeping it classy. Again, I can't overstate how beautiful this looks to me. Hopefully, you can also see it and appreciate it through the video. Okay, it is time for a recap. Okay, so again, you've got a whopping 530 square meters of floor area on a 345 square meter lot area. You've got four bedrooms with an ensuite toilet and bath, and then one extra bedroom here on the first floor or ground floor for your office or den, so technically five bedrooms and then five toilet and baths. You've got a four slot carport. You've got a separate driver's quarters and a maid's quarters, each with their own toilet and baths. You've got that really nice laundry area, right? And then you've got a dirty kitchen with direct access from your formal kitchen. Uh, what else? You've got that really nice swimming pool. It's not the biggest pool in the world, but I think that's what makes it even better. It's just a proper lap pool for, you know, dipping yourselves during hot summers or even just exercising on a daily basis. And of course, you've also got rooms for maintenance for your swimming pool and a toilet and bath with direct access from that pool, from said pool. Okay, so essentially you've got two floors and a basement, so three floors. And again, this is in, this is in Don Antonio Royal, Quezon City. So if you guys, again, if you guys or anyone you know is interested or in the market for a house like this, share this video or send us a message. Even better, go to our website and book an appointment. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with pre -self. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.